Hi, I'm Debbie Birch. I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and I'm here at the Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center with the director Judy Wink and we're here to talk about birding weekend coming up the first weekend in May, May 2nd, 3rd and 4th. Judy, what are we going to be doing that weekend? Well, it's a weekend for the avid bird watcher, whether they're experienced or just beginning. We're going to do hikes, kayaking, study birds from boat, uh, Actually, we're also going to deal with our captive birds, and we will uh, handle those, learn about them, and even dissect a pellet. Wonderful. So if you're interested in signing up for any of these um, birding events, you can call the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism at 410-604-2100, and I can give you more information about it. Or you can call here at the Environmental Center. This is a joint project between the two. Um, entities so thanks a lot. Judy and I are here to discuss the specifics of what we're doing on the birding weekend May 2nd, 3rd and 4th here at the Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center. On Friday May 2nd we have quite a few events um, that will be going on during the day. Judy why don't you tell us about those? Well one of the things first of all why we scheduled it this weekend this is probably an ideal weekend to go birding because the neotropicals, the birds that go to... I was just going to say, what's a neotropical? <laughs> <laughs> They're the birds that uh, breed here and then during the winter go to migrate to a warmer clime. So we only see them for about three, four months. So that weekend is usually a good start of okay. when the birds will be returning, such as the warblers, catbirds, thrashers, you know, other birds that leave the area. And the reason they leave in that winter period is because their food resource is gone. Many of them are insectivorous birds. They feed on insects. Okay. So at that time of the year, no bugs. Okay. The birds move. Okay. So that's why we scheduled this for this weekend. And we're trying to hit on a number of things. Ospreys have been back now for as of the weekend for several months right. and they will be in all stages of rearing young. Um, we'll be able to, we're going out on a boat, hit the Kent Narrows area, check all the local nests that okay. we know. We'll go up Kent Narrows, uh, check the channel markers. Okay. And, we'll, we'll, and why are you checking the channel markers? Because there are many more ospreys than there are man-made platforms. So they'll, the ones that are younger birds, they will uh, get the poorest place to live, <laughs> so they'll be on the channel markers. Uh, but anyway, we'll, we'll do a little boat trip, and the main thing about this is that we'll see the birds in all stages of development, okay. from relatively newly hatched, a couple weeks old, to some birds that are almost ready to fledge, depending on you know when they hatch. Okay, so and that'll after, be fun. What are what goes on after the boat trip? So that's that's a then, couple hours. Then we're going to uh, come back to the center and we're going to handle our rehab birds. And I think the people might like that. Check out the rehab birds. Uh, do a little PowerPoint on life history, and then we'll dissect the pellet. Uh, that's that's a kind of interesting thing. We do it a lot with the kids' education, okay. and adults probably would never think of doing this, but, you know, there's a lot to be learned as far as food habits with the birds. Okay. Here we're uh, looking at barred owls, which we will use in our birding weekend. Um, these birds are uh, local birds. They're rehab birds, and we will, uh, they are manned to the fist and we will handle these birds, feed them, learn about their natural history, and then we'll take a pellet from these birds. Pellets are regurgitated masses of undigested material, and we'll dissect the pellet and we'll be able to see what the birds had for lunch. We feed these birds uh, mice and chicks that we purchase from a supply house that raises these food items just for zoos and captive circumstances. We're in the raptor aviary and we're just visiting some of the birds that are rehab birds here right now. If you come out on the birding weekend you'll be able to get up close and personal with them and learn more about them. What we have here are two male red-tailed hawks 
and both of them were car strike victims. Both of them have wing injuries as well as leg injuries. So these birds will be maintained for the rest of their life here. We don't use these birds for education purposes. We are strictly maintaining them, primarily because their injuries were so serious that we don't want to put any additional strain on them. So we'll just maintain these guys through their lifespan. And then after that, after the owls and the birds that you have here in rehab, then what? Okay, then we're, we're doing a couple hikes. Uh, well, one hike in particular, it's called the Woodland Chirpers. And what we're doing here is we're keeping an eye out for early neotropicals, but we're also going to take a look at the three nut hat spe hat Yep, let me start over. The three nut hatch species that we have here and woodpeckers of about five different kinds. And also we're going to look for some raptor nests. Okay. So, well, it's an easy hike. Anybody can do it. We're looking at maybe a quarter mile. Okay. And we'll make sure we hit the habitats where we see all of these birds. And then that evening you'll cap off the evening with a lecture on the neotropicals right. and you right. know, talking about them specifically. Well, then... Saturday, um, we have another full day of events scheduled, and I know we're starting out on Saturday with a boat trip again, same mm -hmm. one that we took the day before. And then we're then you're going into something that might appeal to a lot of people, and that's a um, birds of the backyard. Right. Well, before we leave the boat trip, uh, why we scheduled this twice is because we want to keep the groups very small so that they have a good chance to photograph birds. Good ask idea. questions from a professional or get answers from a mm -hmm. professional ornithologist. So that's why we have the two boat trips. But um, the birds in the backyard, a lot of people uh, have bird feeders or would like to set up feeding stations. And these birds will be residents. Although neotropicals do come to feeding areas, the main purpose of this backyard birds is to familiarize people with the birds that they would see on a regular basis. Would that be basis. like cardinals and finches, those type of birds? Right. By the end of uh, by the end of the program, I guarantee the people will be able to identify at least twenty birds okay. that are local that are here all the time. And I'd like to really emphasize the sounds too, because a lot of times you don't get to see the bird but you can count it as seeing it right, if, if you, you hear, hear it. it. So anyway, we'll do backyard birds. And then the birding from kayak. Um, I won't be leading that. My <laughs> colleague will be leading that, who is also an excellent birder. But you know, when you're out in a kayak, you can get very close to birds. Right, and you'll see birds that you might not see, like around the, the building here, feeding and that type right. of thing. The reason you can get close is the birds know their safety is in flight. Okay. And when they see you in a kayak, they don't see a human with two arms and two legs, something threatening to them. Because when you're sitting in the kayak, all they see is that gliding Across thing. Across the water. You know. So we, uh, we'll, we'll look for there, we'll look for herons, and we'll look for some rails. Hopefully find a bittern. These are all birds that inhabit the marsh edge so that you can be kayaking quietly and get pretty and close see to those. Them. And then that evening, we're going to cap off again with neotropicals at the end of the day. And um, that pretty much wraps up the Saturday. On Sunday, we're just going to have a birding open house here. And, right. you know, you have trails that go throughout the, the grounds here. And people will be able to just, you know, wander on their own and explore on their own. We're also going to have plein air painters from KIFA here, which is Canal and Federation of Arts. And they're going to be painting various species of birds. Um, and habitats. Yep, the habitats throughout the grounds. So if you want more information on any of these events and you want to sign up, we're asking reservations required for all of those. Um, you can call the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism at 410-604-2100. You can go online to the Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center's website, which is bayrestoration.org, or the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism website, which is visitqueenanns.com to get more information. Thanks.